The year 2010 in spaceflight saw a number of notable events in worldwide spaceflight activities. These included the first test flight of the SpaceX Dragon commercial resupply spacecraft, which is intended to resupply the International Space Station and the maiden flights of the Falcon 9 and Minotaur IV rockets. In June 2010, South Korea conducted a second NARA-1 launch, after the failure of the rocket's maiden flight in 2009, however, the second attempt also failed. The Cosmos 3M was retired from service, making its final flight in April. The Molnia M was also retired from service, making its final flight in September. Overview The first suborbital launch of 2010 was conducted at 2300 Greenwich Mean Time on 10 January, when a Black Brandt X sounding rocket was launched as a target for the Boeing YAL-1 airborne laser platform. On the 11th of January, China conducted an ABM test involving two missiles. The first orbital launch occurred at 16:12 Coordinated Universal Time on the 16th of January, when a Long March 3C launched the Compass G1 navigation satellite from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center. 74 orbital launches were attempted in 2010, with 70 being successful and four ending in failure. The last orbital launch was made on 29 December, when an Ariane 5 ECA launched the Hispasat 1E and Koreasat 6 spacecraft from Guiana Space Center, near Kourou. Space exploration Akatsuki, the first Japanese mission to Venus, was launched on an HIIA carrier rocket in May. It is intended to look for lightning and volcanoes on Venus. Despite a successful launch, the spacecraft failed to enter Scytherocentric orbit in December, but it managed to enter the orbit around Venus five years later in December 2015. Ikaros, the first operational solar sail, was launched on the same rocket as Akatsuki. The first Japanese asteroid probe, Hayabusa, returned to Earth on 13 June, having landed on 25,143 Itokawa in an effort to collect samples. It was also the world's first successful sample return mission from an asteroid. On 1 October at 10 hours 59 minutes and 57 seconds Coordinated Universal Time, China successfully launched the Chang'e 2 spacecraft, the nation's second mission to explore the Moon. A Long March 3C rocket was used for the launch, which occurred from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center. The spacecraft conducted a mission similar to that of the earlier Chang'e-1 spacecraft, but with a focus on mapping potential landing sites in preparation for the Chang'e-3 unmanned lunar lander. <laughs> manned spaceflight Seven manned launches were planned for 2010, with three Space Shuttle missions and four Soyuz flights for International Space Station crew rotation. STS-130, using Orbiter Endeavour, was the first manned flight of the year, launching on 8 February with the Tranquility Node and Cupola for the ISS. On 5 April, Discovery launched on mission STS-131, with the Leonardo MPLM to resupply the outpost. Soyuz TMA-18 launched the Expedition 23 crew to the ISS on 2 April, it was scheduled to spend around six months docked to the station to facilitate crew escape in an emergency. Shortly before, Soyuz TMA-16 undocked, transporting former ISS crewmembers back to Earth. On 14 May, Space Shuttle Atlantis launched on its second-to-last flight, STS-132, carrying the RASVET module to the ISS. Soyuz TMA-19 launched with Expedition 24 on 15 June. Soyuz TMA-01M, the first flight of a modernized Soyuz TMA spacecraft, launched on 8 October with the Expedition 25 crew for the ISS. Then, to end the year, Expedition 26 launched aboard Soyuz TMA-20 on 15 December. <laughs> Launch failures. Four orbital launch failures occurred in 2010, two affecting geosynchronous satellite launch vehicles, one affecting a NARA-1 rocket, and one affecting a proton rocket. The first occurred on 15 April, when the GSLV-MK-2 launched on its maiden flight. 
The rocket's third stage malfunctioned, resulting in the stage, and the GSAT-4 satellite, failing to achieve orbit and falling into the sea. The second failure occurred during the second launch of the NARA-1 rocket, carrying the STSAT-2B spacecraft. The rocket exploded 137 seconds into the flight. The third failure occurred on the 5th of December, when a Proton M with the first block DM03 upper stage failed to inject three GLONASS M satellites into orbit. Before launch, the block DM was fueled incorrectly, resulting in the rocket being too heavy to reach its parking orbit. The fourth failure occurred on the 25th of December 2010, when a GSLVMK I exploded during the launch of GSAT5P. The rocket was destroyed by range safety, after control of the liquid-fueled boosters attached to the first stage was lost. <laughs> <laughs> Launches <laughs> Deep Space Rendezvous Distant, non-targeted flybys of Dione, Enceladus, Mimas, Rhea, Tethys and Titan by Cassini will occur throughout the first half of the year. Avas Orbital launch statistics Topic by country. For the purposes of this section, the yearly tally of orbital launches by country assigns each flight to the country of origin of the rocket, not to the launch services provider or the spaceport. For example, DNEPR rockets are counted under Ukraine even though they are launched from Russia. Topic by rocket. Topic by family. Topic by type. Topic by configuration. Topic by spaceport. equals 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 by target orbit <laughs>